Hello and welcome to Girl Awakening YouTube. I'm Jo Hendy and I'm Amanda Parker. Enjoy this episode of Girl Awakening and all of its vulnerable sacredness. And remember to subscribe and share. Tuesday, as Jamie would say. It's a yes. shout out to Jamie. <laughs> hey, Jamie. Sunrise walks. Yes, mm. yeah. Um, here we are, another beautiful guest today. A young, fresh. Yes. Yeah, love it. With a big story. Yeah, and who came in not knowing anything <laughs> about yeah. what she was about to talk about, and we kind of broke the ice real early, didn't we? Yeah, we got, we, we yeah. We pointed in the wrong direction just to see how resilient she was. And she's very. And she went there. <laughs> <laughs> love her already. So we're going to introduce our next guest. Uh, today, who is an absolute lover and believer of manifestation, and after years of experiencing the competitive and negative side of the film and television industry, she started Pass Around the Smile as a blog in the hope to spread positivity and literally to pass around the smile. Mm. As it often is when we start to look at life differently and dive in into learning as much as she could, our guests began to experience their own crazy experiences using the law of attraction and felt pulled strongly to spread the word even further. Love that. Yeah, me mm. too. An actor and speaker from the Gold Coast, Australia, Cleo Massey is owner of Pass Around the Smile, a company but also a movement that has touched thousands around the planet. Thank you, Cleo, for joining us today. Yay. Thank you for having me. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad I, I packed this reading now. Yes, I, I cried the first time. Yeah, maybe I was feeling it the next time. Mm. Yeah, really, That's, really beautiful. A lot in there and mm. um, so much to share. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. a lot to really share. Yeah, and do, yeah, so beautifully. Mm. Um, so basically, yeah, now that we've introduced you to everybody, we're going to dive straight in. We are. Mm. Let's do it. Cleo. Yeah. <laughs> How did your awakening begin? I feel like I've had two awakenings. Yes, beautiful. So mm. I think I had one awakening at the very early age of 11. Yeah. Mm. Which is when I first got the role on H2O. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. And I think that was an awakening, and I still believe it to be an awakening, because getting that role and filming for the next four years was just everything. Yeah. Like, yeah. it was just the most incredible experience. I was completely myself. Mm -hmm. I remember mum and dad would say, like when I get home from a day on set, that I was just elated. Mm -hmm. Like I was just full of energy. I was just so fulfilled yeah. at such a young age yeah. too. That's quite yeah. rare, I yeah. guess, because that's we don't even really know what we want to do then. Yeah. So I did count my, you know, lucky stars for getting that role yeah. so early. And for it really was kind of the best introduction that mm. a young girl could get to the film and television industry yeah. because it's literally a show about mermaids. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's like one of the career the yeah. world. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's so nostalgic, mm -hmm. I think, for a lot of people and a lot of adults still say that they go back and watch it and relive their childhood. Oh, and my goodness. Yeah. It's so special and, like, I actually lived in the story. Yeah. So I was, like, in this magical world of mermaids and we filmed at Warner Brothers and on our lunch breaks we'd go and sneak through and go on the rides oh, and like wow. it was just it was such a good experience the crew was so beautiful the cast was amazing so yeah. I think my awakening first was that yeah but then I had like an adult awakening <laughs> yeah in 2015 yeah. so yeah wow it's almost like you can't beat that first experience in a way because it was just so perfect and fairy tale in every way yeah yes and such a um Incredible experience to watch, mm -hmm. you know, that world can be about, mm. yeah, uh, you know, on the 360 degrees of, of you know, the story, the, your co actors, you know, mm. the environment yeah. that you're in. Just and, everything mm. about it was like, like you said, like a fairy tale. Yeah. And I think because I was so young as well, I was very like protected and respected on set, and it was just such. Such a beautiful introduction to the film and television industry, however. I was yeah. going <laughs> I was like, speaking, it's so fantastic because you don't hear, it's very rare that you yes. hear a child come out of 
a, a, a like film and television that that high end side of things where they're being looked after and protected. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. very very lucky. Yes, um, and it's still coming. sane and normal and healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Um, we won't talk about overlays. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Then experiencing the reality of the film yes. and television industry and what it has to offer at its harshest. Yeah. yeah. That was hard because yeah. I almost went into the film and television industry after H2O wrapped. Yeah. With rose coloured glasses. I was going to say, like, like, yeah. Yeah. A bit of an illusion, hey? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah. what happened then? Like, what were you, what were your um, thoughts around that? Because we were you 11. I was going to say, mm. how old were you when H2O finished? I was 15. Yes. Um, wow. So I was in halfway through grade 11. Yeah. So I was actually really excited to just do year 12 and yeah. go to school every yeah. day. Yeah. Because through H2O, I was like, doing my work on yeah. set and not being able to go on excursions and not being able to participate in like up school things yes and, you know at 15 14 and 15 like I was starting to really care about you yeah. know what I looked like or what people thought of me yeah so it was kind of it got hard so when it finished it was so devastating yeah. but I was also like no I just kind of want to yeah be a normal kid yeah. yeah go to school you know so did that and then when I graduated year 12 that's when I was like oh my gosh I am just I'm ready. I'm yeah. ready to become the successful actress that I so desperately wanted to be. Yes. And it was all I believed that I was good at. It's all I believed that was meant for me. Yeah. And I was ready to put all of my energy, all of my time, all of my money into becoming that actress. Yeah. And I did yes. for the next, oh my gosh, like, well, 2010, I graduated. So the next, like, Five years, it was absolutely everything. Yeah. And then beyond that as well, but 2015, things kind of changed a bit. Yeah. But it was that time from when I graduated year 12, the years after that, mm-hmm. I was left feeling quite empty, yeah. uh, quite unfulfilled, mm-hmm. really negative, yeah. and stuck in the world of comparison. Wow. It was so competitive. Yeah. I was flying to Sydney every second week for auditions which would sometimes be two minutes long yeah and i was Mm. like working all these casual jobs um because i'd spent my h2o money on like a car and a laptop yeah and then i was working yeah these casual jobs to get the money to go down to sydney but it was hard because fans of the show were coming in Mm -hmm. and they'd ask me questions like why are you working at a juice bar oh wow oh you're in a like you're working in a cafe now have are you not like famous? Yeah, like, have you not gone <laughs> wow. to do anything else? And it was hard. Oh, you poor mm. thing. I can yeah. imagine it was like a big, like, um, drop down to earth kind of thing. Oh, yes. the bubble was popped kind of thing. And it was yeah. like, because you're, I, I can imagine, how many auditions would you would have you gone for before you got the job with H2O? Many? Um, before H2O, not too not, many because I was so young. Yeah. yeah. So and you wouldn't have experienced that hard slog of no. like an actor yeah. really so go through. Yeah. I thought it was easy. Yes. <laughs> because I got this job yeah. easy and then the process was so yes. great and amazing. And so I got out and I was like, I'm just going to land a job. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm going to land a huge role yes. like in a blockbuster comedy. Yes. Like, and then it's just all going to flow. But it didn't. Yeah. And that was hard. Yeah. And um. I think because I had the role from such a young age, being an actor became a part of my identity. Mm -hmm. So when I wasn't able to live it out, Mm -hmm. I was so confused and I was left feeling so lost. I was like, why can't I do the one thing that I want to do? Even though I was doing acting classes and whatever. Still in that world. I wasn't, Mm -hmm. yeah. Not really fully in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was hard because some of my co-stars went on to immediate success. So I was... Constantly not feeling like yes. I constantly felt like my best was not good enough. Yeah, and I also had some really yucky things happen with some agents, yeah. some managers. Um, yucky things happen with my American visa, mm-hmm. and the industry really, really did slap me in the face. Yeah, about a hundred million times. Yeah, after H two O. Yeah. So yeah. So that's really interesting. Yes. Yes. 11, 11 to 15 is like very formative years. I was going to say, as absolutely. A, as a, as yeah. And as a young child, girl, because yeah. you're going through so many things yourself. Yeah. And then to have all that happen on top of that, it's like, holy shit, what the hell? Why did I deserve this? Yeah. yeah. What so did we, I do to deserve yeah, this? Yeah. 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 So what was the turnaround yeah. point? So the turnaround point was in 2015 when 
not only did I feel really crappy because I wasn't getting the roles and because I was putting in, you know, everything and just not getting Which anything in return, mm -hmm. but I was really sad and I guess kind of angry about the fact that the law of attraction which is mm. a law that I believed in so deeply mm. and when I was in H2O I had read the book The Secret for Teens and that mm. gave me a good introduction into you know yeah what you think about you bring about yeah. and that you can you know visualize what you want bring it into your physical reality so I had mm. kind of I thought I knew everything <laughs> Looking back at my life, you knew nothing. <laughs> but by 2015, I could manifest some things so easily mm. with using the law of attraction to such tiny detail that I had no choice but to know that I did create yes, that. Yeah. But then when it came to acting, I just couldn't manifest yeah. the roles. Yeah. Mm. And during, yeah, around 2015, I was getting a lot of signs, whether it was other people saying to me or whether it was seeing things on Bill, whatever it was, mm. especially through, I was doing angel card readings all the time. Mm -hmm. And every single time I would do my spread, I would get spiritual healer, writer and speaker. Wow. And <laughs> I would get angry. Like, oh, yes. I don't want that. <laughs> possibilities that I couldn't mm. see but I was so attached to the one outcome yeah. of acting and that's all I'm good at and that's all that's meant for me that I was blocking everything else mm. so it wasn't until I finally decided you know what something's not working yeah I'm resisting yeah I am totally blocking the process I need to give up that control mm -hmm. and it's so hard right to give up control when yeah. you care about something so, so much. deeply yeah yeah and also like I was caring about it for the wrong reasons mm -hmm. like I was caring about it because I wanted to prove to others that I could do it mm -hmm. yeah, and to myself mm -hmm. and I was doing it because I got a role young so yeah. I should you know, and they're you not know, good enough reasons. You can see how it can work. Why does it just keep happening? Mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. And I kind of thought if I was to, you know, give writing or whatever these cards were saying a go, that it meant that I was giving up on acting. Mm. But during this time of, like, confusion and trying to let go and trust the process, this idea came to me to start a blog called Pass Around the Smile. And to be completely honest, when the idea came to me, I wasn't that excited mm. about it. It seemed quite small and unexciting because mm. I was chasing these huge dreams. Like <laughs> I was chasing getting the call that was like, you've got the lead in yes. this. So like big, exciting things. So when this idea came to me, I was like, it's not what I want, yeah. but I've told myself I'm going to trust the process, mm. go with the flow and make some changes. And it's so crazy what happens oh. when you give up control. Like, oh. Life actually starts to flow with you instead of against you. That's so nice. I want to ask questions yeah, there yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah, um, a couple of things. So you said you read the book, The Secret for Teenagers. So did someone give that to you or was that your own? I think my mum maybe ah. got it. I mean, I can't remember. Yeah, that's Good a good question. Because that's an interesting thing. Because that, mm, that could be a massive turning point. Because yeah. that can shift your whole reality. It did. Yes. It changed my life. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then you said you yeah. started doing angel cards. And you just said that like it was nothing to you, you know. But yeah. like, sometimes that can be massive. A massive Huge. shift in awareness um, that can come in for a young girl. Yes. You know, just to think about trusting mm. something like that. Even yeah. though at that stage you weren't really trusting what well, I knew, right. but you were doing them anyway. So there was something bigger inside of you that was saying, no, no, no. You're looking. Yeah. You are, yeah. You're already asking and looking. Yeah, that's exactly Which right. Which is true. Because, there's a, you know, this is the whole thing too at the moment. There's a massive shift occurring that mm. we all are aware of. Mm. Um, and the, some people aren't picking up the signs. No. Know? And yeah. that's the thing. If you're not in alignment, the signs are still there, but yes. you're not going to see them. That's right. Yeah. And I wasn't. Because yes. I was completely blocking them. I didn't want to know. Yeah. I was being really stubborn. I yeah. was like, no, nah, that's not what I want. And I think so often we think we know what's mm. best for us. Like, you are you. Mm. I am me. We know what we want. Yeah. But sometimes we don't. No. Like, yeah. I was so sure that that was right for me. Yeah. But it was absolutely not mm. at that time. Mm-hmm. And just trusting the timing as well. Yeah. But yeah, as you say with the angel cards, so mum had like seven decks of angel cards. Yeah. And when I was a kid, slowly but surely, I'd take decks yeah. and they'd have a permanent place on the <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> 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 
so growing up, I was lucky to have that yeah. because mum had them there. But yeah, maybe I can't remember how I got the book The Secret, but it did change my life. Yeah. So mm. that's a big book for young yes. girls. Yeah. 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 Well, it was the one, the version for teens, which yeah. I so recommend. I didn't even know. Yeah, there was one, oh. but that's so cool. It's really mm. simple. Yes. Yeah. And then, of course, I read the one for adults as I yeah. got older, but yeah. the one for teens is really good. And I had my first experience from that book on the set of H2O because I had a really bad day on set yeah. and I couldn't remember my lines. Oh, wow. And I was so embarrassed because I was holding up a set of like 60 people. A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. Mm. And I could not for the life of me get this line right. Wow. And I knew that they were like paying for the location and that we had to move on the, to the next scene. Mm. And when I finally got the line right, everyone cheered and uh, like they were just being nice. Yeah. But I burst into tears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And was so embarrassed. And when I got home, I was so fearful of the next day that I was going to stuff up. Yeah. And yeah. I was creating this fear and this yeah. limiting belief, obviously. But then I had learned in the secret, well, you know, the law of attraction doesn't just work for tangible things. Mm -hmm. It also works like I can manifest a good day on set. Yeah. So I went to sleep visualizing it and feeling the feelings of feeling really proud and happy oh. after a good day on set. Yeah. And mm. it played out exactly how I imagined oh, it. That's so and cool. that was a yeah. big moment Powerful. for me. I was like, I can... Wow. Yeah. This works. Yeah. Yeah. This work. yeah. 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 <laughs> I can shift energy too. Yeah. 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 Change yeah. my reality. Yeah. Change. Yeah. Change. That's and so powerful. It's a it's a big awareness to have around how mm. you can take yourself out and then reach into a tool that can pull yourself back into mm. yeah. self again, isn't it? And yeah. See it, it is. actually happen. It's incredible. Mm. It's so magical. And sometimes I am like, this law is so magical. Like, it's too good to be true. But yeah. then I remind myself of the science that backs it. <laughs> it's true. It's literally energy attracting energy. Yeah. It's crazy. It's so funny because our mm. next question, mm. it's just beautiful, is what did you first notice? When did you first notice a shift in your thoughts about the world? So this is exactly what we're kind of talking about too. Yeah. You know, because that, mm. can, that shift that you had in your... Um, creating, oh, now I know I can create everything, basically, energy things, if I really put my mind to it. Mm -hmm. um, so did you have any um, shifts about the world when this was happening? Because it was a, this is more of a self-creating mm -hmm. thing. I think, again, I think I feel like all of these questions are relating to, like, the first awakening yep. and the second awakening. So the first Absolutely. awakening, the shift would be yes. just that, yes. what you said. Yeah. And then the second awakening in 2015, I think, was that giving up of control mm. and seeing how everything can change so quickly mm. once you just let go and trust the process. Yeah. Like I think we all think that the more control we have, mm. the more control we have. But yeah. I actually think it's the opposite. Absolutely. And we're getting in the way of the universe's plan. And when I say universe, by the way, that's just what I... You know, I feel like the universe can be whatever to anyone. Absolutely. Source, God, so, yes, yes, yes. Or the above. Just yeah. all of energy, someone you love in heaven, yes. whatever. Yes. But yeah, I think it was this big like, whoa, I can actually do less and attract more. Mm. Like I love how Gabby Bernstein talks about that and it's like when we have this desperate energy mm -hmm. and we're so attracted to the one outcome. Mm -hmm. It won't happen. We're but constricting, aren't we? We're yes. actually constricting whatever happens. Yeah. Yeah. And if mm -hmm. we are vibrating on a energy that's like desperate, mm -hmm. we're going to attract, desperate. you know, desperate, desperate. energy yeah. back mm -hmm. and other people, things, circumstances that are vibrating on that same low energy. Yeah. So I think, yeah, what I learned then about the world was that it's okay to let go. Mm -hmm. And when you let go, actually, it's, mm -hmm. it's better. And I've been learning a lot about the law of rhythm lately. And yeah. the law of rhythm is all about that, like, you know, to and fro, up and down, like the waves go in and out yes. and trusting that when we're going through something, the law of rhythm is going to take us back up again. Yes. You know, yeah. like, so getting comfortable in that law of rhythm yeah. and the trust mm. that everything's working out how it should yeah. just be, enjoy yeah. the process, yeah. you know? Wow. Don't Powerful. miss out on yeah. the experience. And actually yeah. Trevor talks about that yeah. as well with the waves when he was going with the current. And mm. just and letting the current work for him and not fighting it. Yeah, and I coming, love that. Yeah. yeah, and coming back up. Because, you know, it's, it's... Where it needs to be. Yeah. Mm. And a lot of people, this is horrible, but a lot of people drown when they fight the current. 
you're right because yeah. they run out of energy so true it's such, a, it's such a life metaphor you know it's like mm. when they let go and they just trust that this current is going to take me wherever I need to go yeah. and I'll be free and I'll be out and I'll be safe yeah but it's so hard when you're in it. That's the other thing. When you're in it, yeah. it's so hard. Yeah. And when you want something so bad, so bad, yeah. And you, you want to hold on, yes. And the thought of letting go, no, 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 terrifying. No. Yeah, terrifying. <laughs> That's why it's a strong identity it as is. well. Like it's like who we see ourselves as. Yes. And even though there's this other part of ourselves that is just as bright and just as sparkly, yeah. We're not seeing her. We're no. seeing her, you know. And, and there's so many her. aspects because we think. If we go that way, that means I have to change. And, mm. then, and most people are scared of change. Exactly. Will like me if I'm like that? Yeah. Or will I still be, you know, will I still be loved? The fear of judgment. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. And it's exactly what you were saying. It's like when you jump and you just go, yeah. which I think is probably where you're going to go next. Mm. Um, yeah. You know, after having the realisation that you actually have to, even though that, that you know, um, this new venture of yours was terrifying and didn't feel as big, Yes. As acting was, you had to go anyway to have the experience. Exactly. Yeah. And I wish I could say to you guys yeah. that I jumped in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's never so, the way. It's no, never the way. But it was, it was good for me because I, you know, we always look back and everything makes sense and we've yeah. learned so many lessons. And I never, ever, ever thought that I would get to a stage where I would look back mm. and think, I'm so glad I didn't get those acting jobs. Like, oh. I'm. Because those acting jobs to me were everything mm -hmm. like I mm -hmm. cannot count the amount of times I cried had you know anxiety attacks over this acting world mm -hmm. and to be the place now where I'm like I'm so happy yeah but that did not work out the way I wanted it yeah. to so when I got the idea for the blog yes I started the blog straight away yeah um and you know a few people read it mm -hmm. mum dad <laughs> my dog <laughs> but it was very slow and I but I just kept trusting that if I'm writing about things that I enjoy, yeah. I'm teaching myself and I'm helping other people. So I was writing about the law of attraction, mm -hmm. finding your right path, mm -hmm. surrendering, yeah. releasing, wow. all of the kind of woo-woo self-development topics that pass around the smile is still about yeah. what I was writing about. Yeah. And slowly but surely, people started to resonate. Mm -hmm. And that felt really good and kind of sparked something inside of me. But mm -hmm. it still wasn't the huge, it still didn't make complete sense. Mm -hmm. But I kept trusting the process. and. During this time, I was living in LA and having a really hard time. Mm. I didn't really fit in well over there. Mm. I really struggled with the people just wanting to climb the ladder. Mm. And I was like, I just really like acting. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go to that networking event. Yeah. I don't want this for money or for fame. I just, you know. Who's going to be there? Who do I need yeah. to stand next to? Uh, yeah, it was really work. hard. Yeah. Um, mm. Kept trusting, kept writing. And then when I came back to the Gold Coast again with no role mm -hmm. coming back from LA with no role was devastating for mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. um see I was still holding on at this stage yeah. I was still yes I was I had started the blog but I was still in the thick of like this still needs to be everything yes and I kind of thought I was like okay universe like I'm, li I'm listening to you I'm mm -hmm. writing my blog so where's the role <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wasn't, oh, we're doing this for that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. so I was still in the wrong mindset yeah like, I still was playing a game yeah. yeah. No, I'm hearing you, and I'm yeah. sure lots of that. Oh, <laughs> so it's really so, so many, and it's not. And when you look back, you could, you realize it's transition. But at the time, it's like well, you know, I'm giving, so yeah. you know, it's yes. my reward. <laughs> yes, exactly. Which is not, you know, that it's hard. Oh no, yes. Absolutely. So I came home, <laughs> and I was feeling really unfulfilled again. Mm. I was like, well, I've come home again. I don't have a role. Where am I going to get a job this time when I come back? And then. I said to the universe, I was like, I need a sign. Like, I need a sign so clearly. And I just decided then and there that I wanted it to be a whale. Because the day before, this In idea... December. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have them. No, it was actually... It wasn't. Yeah. Um, so, I... Set, I, I, it was the day before and this idea had kind of come to me to do a Pass Around the Smile live event. And yeah, I was like, yeah. okay, this kind of, you know, this kind of makes sense. And where this idea came from was the week before I was invited to speak at a women's like networking kind of event. Beautiful. And I cannot tell you, well, actually, no, I can tell you yeah. because it was the same feeling of fulfillment oh, on yeah. speaking oh, that yeah. I got when I was on HR. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And as I was driving home from Brisbane with my mom and my friend, 
I was like lit up again. Oh, and I was oh, like, <laughs> yeah. oh, that's so good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, Cleo, all this time you kept pulling the speaking card oh. and the writing led you to the speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's all about spiritual healing, yeah. which was the other card I kept pulling. And it wasn't until I was invited to, you know, speak at this event, mm. I did it. I came home and I thought, I need to do a Pass Around the Smile Live event. Yeah. But then the next day, I was filled with limiting beliefs. Yeah. Who's going to come? Who's going to buy tickets? You didn't go to uni. You're not smart enough. Yeah. All of what the, do you have to say? What yeah, have, you know, exactly. All, those, all yeah. of that. Mm. And then I, that's when I said, universe, I need a sign. Please show me a whale. But I need it to be so clear. I need yeah. it to be so in my face if I'm meant to do this wow. event. And I think it was the next day and I was going from, for a walk from at the time I was living at my parents still. So at my parents' house to this spot on the beach that I loved, like point A to point B. Mm -hmm. That's where I was walking. That's all always where I walked there and back. Yeah. Yeah. But I was walking and I had forgotten about the whale. It was like the oh, next day. That's what happens, yeah. 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 And I had the strongest urge to just go right at this random point. I'd never walked down this street before, but I was like, oh, I'm learning to trust the process. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So walked okay. down. I knew you said good girl. <laughs> <laughs> good girl. Good girl. Trust the process. Walk down that street. <laughs> and when I got to the end of the street, I was at the beach and I kind of looked mm -hmm. down and I was probably about two and a half Ks away from where I was supposed to be going. Yeah. And there were two whales oh playing gosh. so close onto oh. the shore. And not only were the whales there, it was a mum and a baby, yeah. but everyone on the deck was talking about whales. Oh. And then they included me in their chat. And the whales this, whales that, whales this. <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> and I, I, I always... Baby, <laughs> and the whale drops his tail and splashes you. <laughs> go to say I ran home but I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't run. I, love that. I don't I run. Love I walked that. very briefly. <laughs> <Loaded home. laughs> we are not runners, we get you. <laughs> I created the event. Oh, it gosh. sold out. Oh, yeah. It was mostly my family and friends. There was a couple of people Who I can't know that it's not the point. It's yeah. not the point. Yeah. Not the yeah. point. Yeah. That's yeah. a yeah. Yeah. little yeah. thing right there too. It doesn't matter. No. But even if Four people turned up, Don't and you know. did the same speech, and you had the same feeling. Yeah, that's exactly. That's the, put the energy that's there. Those people about. are there because they oh. they're plugging into you, and mm. you know, really, your family and friends. You know, it just shows what a close community that is. Yeah, yeah so special. I yeah. felt really supported, mm. and it was that night that changed everything. Oh. Like I was like, oh my god. By the way, everything. she's feeling it was more than family and friends. There was yeah. a lot of people. Yeah. There. <laughs> So yeah. well, just everything made sense. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I was using my acting yeah. kind of uh, yeah ability, yeah. I guess, through my speaking. Absolutely. And I don't know. Yeah, everything just flowed. And then the next three months, I held two more events. Yeah. And my third event, I held in this big space. It's not there anymore. It's called the Burley Common. And a hundred mm. people came. Yeah. And yeah, I, there were so cool. many people I didn't know. Yeah. And it literally from there. I really did learn to give up control and that's when everything just started flowing. At my third event, I was giving out this other girl's deck of cards to everyone and I thought, God, I've loved angel cards forever. Oh, like, yeah. why don't I create my own? Yeah. <laughs> and then I created my own deck and it's still, to me, the proudest oh, I've ever been. Yeah. And I've now created four yeah. decks and journals and Pass Around the Smile is a full company oh, and yeah, a store yeah. and I hold events and four-week courses oh, on yeah. all of this stuff that yeah. I love yeah. <laughs> like it literally lights me up so much and we I did want to put a light on in the room this morning but I don't need one <laughs> <laughs> it's so beautiful because do you ever have the thought now that acting was never your thing that acting was preparing you that um is. okay so <clears throat> funny you say that so mm. I, I'm all proud to say I've been seeing a psychologist yeah. and I started seeing a psychologist actually because the Imperfects podcast made it seem okay. Oh, yes, like they yeah, really yeah. did remove the stigma yeah. Yeah. and seeing this psychologist for a year, she's so incredible yeah. and we've talked about everything in the acting world and I didn't realize what I went through yeah. Mm. Yeah. until she validated that it was all okay. 
And Beautiful. I've now realized that, yeah, acting is not my identity. Yeah. But I know that I am still meant to do it, yeah. but in a completely different capacity. I feel that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I now mm. I mm. am so fulfilled in what I'm doing with Pass Around the Smile that I'm vibrating high. Yeah. Mm. Acting roles are coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they're not the acting roles that I once wanted. Yeah. yeah. They are with people that I trust. Yeah, yeah. They're comedy. Yeah. And... They're filming in Australia. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to be anywhere. Yeah. It's like holidays, yeah. But I don't want to live anywhere yeah, else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's just crazy because I was able now to set these boundaries and feel okay in myself to say no. Yeah. Because I'm not desperate anymore yes. for that role to complete me. Because you're more than that. Yeah. Thank you. You're <laughs> far enough, yeah. Like you know, and I think that's a big thing with acting. Mm. So a lot of people put themselves, you oh know, my gosh. somewhere below. So low. Yeah. yeah. I had no self worth. Yeah. And that was a lot of that was taken away from me by casting agents and directors and managers and agents that stole my money and that lied to me and that <sighs> told me I was crap or told me my manager you, you know need, like you need to me. get you know your legs made shorter yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, them off. Off. yeah yeah you have to be a very strong human mm. to yeah. work in that world yeah and because I have a son that works in this world mm. and um, he's he's just become so complacent like yeah. in a good way yeah like no, he says attached. to me oh, he's not attached anymore that's so good he does an audition and it's like if i get it i get it I don't oh. care. you know he goes back to his normal life yep. which he finds fulfillment in amazing um and he's cruising and he hasn't had any major roles but he's still loving the aspect i think that you love the part where you get to go and you get yes. to be completely someone else yes mm. and take on that role and have fun with it and all of that and then you walk yep. away and you're still you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, good on him. Yes. Yeah. It's it's a hard place to get to. Absolutely. And I'm happy to say I'm finally in it now, but I see so many friends as well that aren't. And yeah. My heart aches for them because I know how unfulfilling it can feel. Yeah. And how devastating waiting for that role. Like it's like a roller coaster. Mm. You get an audition, you're like, this is the one. Yes. This is going to change my life. <gasps> you put everything into yes. learning it. You probably fly somewhere to do the yeah. audition. And then you just hear nothing. Yeah. Or you see on social media that. Someone, someone else, else got yeah, it. Yeah. And you're just like, why wasn't I enough? Yeah. And right. like that. Oh, Where's the like, human factor yeah. and that kind of thing? Yeah. Exactly. So you can see what you were describing before when you share about your psychologist, mm. how people, um, you know, can be taken advantage of in ways like, you know, sexually abuse, all those yeah. kind of things because they're so they, vulnerable. They're they? so yeah. vulnerable and, mm. you get, and disconnected from mm. yourself. And as you say, when the grooming is there for taking away your self worth, you kind of. Doing things before you realize what you, where you're at, yes. you know, and then you're way down a road mm. that doesn't seem to have a door on it. So yeah, that's it's yeah. um it's a it's a crazy industry slash entity of its own, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. It and when you're talking about your vibration, what mm. that's what difference that's creating and what you're attracting mm. in this area, there's so much. Um, goodness in the industry as well. Some amazing things happen through films yeah. and documentaries and comedy. Yeah, you know, my God, incredible. comedy. Where would we be without that? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so yeah. you know, that's an incredible thing to be able to acknowledge of where you're at in yourself, what's mm. coming to you now, yeah, and what you're willing to choose or accept. Yes, know, and express it, yourself it feels through. quite empowering mm -hmm. to be able to say no yeah. and to not to be like. Oh, that audition. No, no. doesn't feel right. Yeah. <laughs> no thanks. I'm and like, the oh. other aspect is <laughs> you're reaching so many more people. Yes. Doing this thing that fulfills yeah. you more than anything. Yes. Mm. Than you would in a role that's not really you. You know, yeah. as in as in you're acting, you're being somebody else, but you're reaching a different audience altogether. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And I think you just you really do know when you're on the right path yeah. because you feel it. Yeah. And everything flows. And yes, it still feels like hard work, but yeah. it's not that hard work that feels forced. It feels passionate. Like yeah. you're taking inspired action instead of just action. Absolutely. And I think when you take inspired action, the law of attraction works with you. Yeah. Because mm. yeah. you're like, this feels good. I'm doing it because, yeah. you know. And you're, um, and you're expanding, you know, your, mm. your, your soul or your beingness or whatever you want to call it is expanding and reaching more people and you're learning more about yourself and you're reflecting more and you're like, oh, this just feels so good. Yeah. Where, you know, before you were saying how constricted you were with certain, you know, things around acting. Yeah. And you kind of like feel like you're um, more dense and like, you can't really grow no. in that space either. And it yeah. spills over to every aspect in your life yeah. as well. Like I am like 
I don't know, like happier in every area now. Mm. And I look back and I was like, oh, I was so constricted mm. and I was angry yeah. and I was, I had no self worth. Mm. And like, that's what I was putting out there. No back space, back. yeah. Yeah. You were your nuts down. Yes, no, as, as exactly. someone Kirsten would say. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. You're, you're not so. But yeah, it, it does. It, it's kind of it's a struggle. It's a struggle, isn't it? So the struggle mm-hmm. is overwhelming mm-hmm. and takes away the ability to be in that inspired yeah. action. It takes the whale. Mm. Yes, <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. I love that. You know, I still after you know years and years and years and years and years of of you know asking for signs and getting them, I still cry when I get a sign. Mm. So magical. It's so magical. It's like it never. It it's never. Um, boring or it's yeah. never i'm never like oh okay thank you no i'm always like oh thank you you know like <laughs> yes. the trust comes straight back in and it's yes the trust the yes. faith and the knowing of like how comforting that it's not just me like yep. i'm supported yes you've got my back yes, yes. you're there yes. it's all i need to yes. know it's so I, beautiful i have the craziest sign story okay so um, it was my third trip to LA. Yeah. So I had a three-year visa, but I could only ever go for a few months just because I hated being away. Um, and I really didn't want to go, but I thought, you know, it's my last year on my visa. I paid so much for this. And I felt like if I wasn't going, I was giving up. Yeah. So I was trying to say, like, I need a sign if I'm supposed to go or not. But yeah. at this point, I was going, like, next week. But I hadn't packed my suitcase. I hadn't taken any uh, actions yes. to go because I actually thought I might cancel the trip. Yeah. Uh, so I was like, please just send me a sign, any sign. I just don't know if I'm supposed to go or not. And what I was having trouble with is I was having trouble with listening to my heart versus Uh, fear. uh, Was it my butt saying no or was it fear saying no? Oh, this is so powerful. So that's what I was having trouble with. Mm. Anyway, I went and sat in my car and as I sat in my car, there was a five cent piece on my chair yeah. I was like that's random I like moved it whatever I didn't think anything of it <laughs> I then went to Pat Fair I remember and there was like a couple of five cent pieces as I was walking into Kmart and I was like that's okay me. I'm just gonna pick them up I don't know what this means or whatever then when I went to the self-serve I like got the change out and someone had left like eight five cent pieces and I was like okay this is weird over the next few days I had filled up like a like a little tin like yeah. a small like a half tin <laughs> yeah, yeah. but like five, five cent pieces. pieces. Still didn't know what it meant though. So I was getting kind of like, but you must have been curious. <laughs> I was so curious. I was like, I can't wait to see what this means. Yeah. Anyway, it got to like maybe three days out and I thought I better get my suitcase down. So my suitcase was up the very top of my wardrobe. I don't think I'd had it out until like a year before when yeah. I went on my LA trip. So I got the suitcase down, oh. I opened it up, and there was a five cent piece. In the <gasps> Are you kidding me? It doesn't end there. Oh my oh. God. Then, my <laughs> nanny Waters, who is my biggest guardian angel, she oh. died when I was one, and yeah. I have a very, very strong and special connection with her. Oh. Like, I actually feel like she's a part of me. It's Absolutely. crazy. Yeah. Mum mm-hmm. actually had a really weird experience, too, where she felt a part of nanny waters going into like one year old me which oh, is so crazy no i um, believe that stuff yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 um mm. nanny waters nanny waters yes. the the teddy. waters yeah yes <laughs> yes um the teddy which i called nanny waters i slept with for every night until i was like i don't know 10 she gave it to me when i was born yeah as I opened the suitcase, I saw the five cent piece the nanny waters teddy fell on top of the five cent piece oh, gosh. and i was just like Oh my god, like this is nanny waters. Yeah. Literally the yeah. teddy falling onto the five cent piece in the suitcase that I meant to take. Yeah. I went on the trip. It was the best LA trip I've ever been oh, on. Fantastic. It was when I had my greatest ever manifestation story, oh. and that manifestation story in LA was the moment where I said I need to share this with the world, and that's when I came home and started my live events. Oh so oh, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So Beautiful. it all linked yeah. and it just all literally yeah i I love that like the whole thing about going to la like kind of finished on that note of transitioning into the space where you belong you're so right you kind of i never thought about a circle yeah you're so right because it didn't end with acting it ended with this is the birth of something yeah and something different and something closer to you yeah Mm. thanks for that yeah Yeah. like even like of course and it was in like the last week that this happened as well yeah. The other thing too, uh, I just want to say, just for our listeners too, yeah. that um, I thought you were going to say you paid for the ticket with the five cents. Oh no! I thought you were going to say she needed like the five cents, you know, to put towards something. I don't know. But 
one that's just so beautiful and yeah. you know nanny blessings as well it's it, oh the fact yeah. that that teddy then fell, fell like, yeah. the yeah. nanny waters teddy not just any teddy that and it's been, been up in my cupboard yeah. for years yeah yeah no mm. the one thing that i just want to say too for our listeners too is that the most important part in this beautiful beautiful story is that you are asking yes you can't expect things to happen if you're not asking you know and i think I a lot that. of people forget to ask mm. and you really have to tune in and ask for it specifically what it is you want mm. you know because um you'll get it yes if you trust and just mm. let it be like ask and then let it go like i i did hear um just recently on a youtube channel we're talking about this and um the channel it was actually a channel someone a being being channeled through a lady Mm-hmm. And they said, you know, it's like going into a restaurant and you order your food and you just know it's going to come. Yeah. Because you just ordered it. You don't think they're going to bring me a hamburger when you've ordered fish and chips. You know they're going to bring you fish and chips. Yes. So you order it and you let it go. You have to be like that when you're asking the universe. That you is have such to, a good analogy. Yeah, yeah you yeah, have yeah. to actually mm-hmm. go... I've ordered this and yeah. now I'm going to just forget about it. Yes. You know, and I'm just going to wait for it to come. And trust. And trust. You place your order with yep. the universe. Yes. And the thing is, have you heard uh, Wayne Dyer's quote? And I'm probably going to butcher this, I always get it wrong. But it's something like everything that now exists was once imagined, which means that everything that is now being imagined will exist. Yes. Yes. And it is true, like when we put our order in, yeah. or when we say to the universe what it is that we want, mm. we've already created it. Yeah. It's now just a matter of bringing it into your physical reality. Yeah. So super exciting because like your biggest desire could be minutes away mm. if you just align your energy yeah. and yeah. your vibration with it. It's so like so, we all have yeah. like our own, um, mm. our own aisle. In the supermarket. Like, this is Joe Handy's <laughs> yeah. Okay? And it's got everything in my world. I see chocolate. And there's a robot going, okay, what does she want today? Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yes. Goes in there and it gets delivered to us. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's kind of like that. That's yeah. what you're saying. It's already it's already there. Already yeah. legend. Yeah. 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 So exciting. How beautiful. Go go. Yay! Mm. Let's end it there. No! I'm totally <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Well, we've kind of, kind of gone over. Kind yeah, of gone, I'm looking like, at the questions going, yep, we've done that one, we've done that one. But it'll be nice to ask in case we've something else up. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So um, what did you notice happening around you? Um, like answers and abundance oh, and like yeah. clarity, yep. I think. Mm, clarity, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, so do I. Yeah, yeah. Really just really like happens. things that were flowing. So you were trusting more. I was definitely trusting Which more. then allowed you to have more clarity because you were going, I can actually now see that if I just ask. Yeah. So things have got really simplified for you in your world too, I can imagine. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know, I, I guess I, it really was, I know I've said this already, but it was that giving up the control and yeah. the urge to control. Like we have this natural urge, it's normal. Yeah. But I think it one of the biggest changes too was actually identifying my limiting beliefs and acknowledging them Mm -hmm. rather than just burying them yeah and like knowing and just saying to myself it's okay and it's normal that you have these limiting beliefs Mm. and i think what i've learned too is that limiting beliefs you know we have the obvious ones that we can identify like that i'm not good enough or i'm not smart enough or Mm -hmm. i'm always the single one or i'm always sick whatever Mm -hmm. But it's the limiting beliefs that present as protective mechanisms yeah. or as positive. Yeah. They're the ones that get me. Yeah. And actually, recently, I found this like limiting belief that I had. Sorry, this going off topic. No, no, no. Okay, there's no such thing as off topic. I realized that I had a limiting belief that was presenting as both a protective mechanism and positive, which was I have enough. And why I say this is that I have enough can be quite a grateful and nice kind of mindful thing to say because like, I love where I am. I'm so grateful. Of course. So I was doing that, but I was going further than that. And why it happened was I had a friend say to me, you're so lucky. Like we pass around the smile. Things just seem to happen for you and fall into your lap. Mm -hmm. It actually kind of upset me. She meant well, but it upset me because I was like, I've worked really hard. For yes. This. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you miss the point. Yeah. yeah. But what happened when she said that is yeah. I thought, oh no, I am 
I'm too much right now. And oh. I felt really greedy for oh. manifesting more when I already had enough. You know, I have my beautiful husband, our beautiful puppy crumpet, obsessed with her, my beautiful family, I live in a beautiful place. I am loving what I'm doing. And I thought, who, who am I to keep yes. manifesting, keep asking for more? Mm. So I stopped. Oh, and no. I dulled my shine oh. to make others comfortable. Yes. And I know we shouldn't Ooh. do this. Say so yeah. that again. I dulled my yes. shine to make others comfortable. Oh, my God. And I realized after about three to four months that while it is beautiful and grateful to be like, I'm so thankful for what I have and what I have is more than enough, but <laughs> I am more than deserving of more. Who yeah. says, who says What's that's enough? enough? Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Enough. Wow. I did. Yeah. For like three months and I didn't, I didn't really realize how powerful it was. And yeah, I was worried about like the judgment from other people mm. that I was doing well or that, you know, mm. and yeah, so I've realized that limiting beliefs can present in such weird ways. Mm -hmm. And another limiting belief I feel that I talk about in my courses is like, I'm it's just not the right time. Or I'm just not ready um, yet. <laughs> I'm <laughs> talking about this <laughs> It's like sometimes, yeah, but are you just scared of success? Exactly. Or are you just fearing failure? Mm -hmm. You know? I'll just wait until. Oh, yeah. Or I'll be happy when. When. I'll be confident when. Uh -uh. I'll be secure when. Yeah. It doesn't work that no. way. Yeah. Yeah. When is that? Because then we're putting conditions on our happiness. Yeah. Yeah. Conditions, that's a beautiful word. Yeah. And the whole limiting, yeah, it's like, it's back to that constriction. You know, there's no space around you as soon as you um, have any kind of belief that allows you to stay in one spot. Mm. When we allow ourselves to have like way more than enough, even the word enough, let's yeah. just get rid of that. Get word. rid of it. Yeah. yeah. Um, to be able to have everything, there's so much space around us to yeah. be able to for you to just pick up and go, oh wow, wow, there she is, there she is, there yeah. she is. You know, let's give her this, this, and that. Yes. And the mm. thing is, when we're manifesting, there is an infinite abundance for anyone. So like, just because I manifest this certain opportunity doesn't mean that someone else can't because no. that's what I was thinking I was like oh gosh I don't want to take up too much space or too much time or yes. too much good stuff yeah it's like no if I get something good I'm going to inspire someone else to get something good as well absolutely yeah. and yeah yeah that's so a great you know, that's a big one and, and you know mm -hmm. the, the whole tall poppy syndrome which is huge in Australia yeah. which we're we're becoming um more aware of that but it's like um I, I love the fact, it's a bit like the podcast, isn't it? It's like, oh, there's so many other podcasts. Oh, no, there's yeah. no one like us. No, there's yeah. not. There's no one like Amanda. There's no one like me. No. There's no one like you. Yes, like, yes, we podcast, all yeah. need mm. to have our own essence and we need to well, we share, share that with yes. everyone. And what is it? Back um, each other. Collaboration over competition. Oh, my God. Ooh. I love that. Yes. And especially for being so sick of competition in the acting industry. It's like, collaborate. Who cares? We're all on our own path. Absolutely. We can all succeed together. Yes. Like, there is more than enough for everyone. I agree. And when we're manifesting, too, the universe can't tell the difference between big and small. No. Like, the universe can't <laughs> tell the difference between $2 and 20000 but it's us who perceive as... Maybe 20,000 is harder to attract, yes. but it's not. No. So we have to train our minds. Well, yes. I think that's a big, yeah. I think it's mm. a big planetary um, condition or mm. right? it's a big uh, program mm. on mm. the planet that there's not enough. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. There's not enough. So, you know, you think of a billion dollars and it's like so out of your realm of thinking that, hey, no, no, no. Mm. You know, it's only because we've been conditioned to think like that. Yes. And conditioned to think that a billion dollars will be hard to attract. Yes. And it's like Henry Ford's quote, whether you think you can or think you can't, you are right. Yeah. So whether you think it's hard to yes. attract or you think it's easy to attract, you are right. Yes. <laughs> but Absolutely. yeah, we've been programmed to believe mm. that money is hard to hold on to. Yeah. And success is, takes years of hard work. And it's like, it only takes years of hard work if you tell yourself. Absolutely. It takes years of hard work. Yeah. And if that's the way you want to go, then that's fine as well. Like if you like, you know, that process of being... Um, you know, slow and steady, that's Absolutely. great. But it doesn't have to be that no. way. No, and like, yeah. I think there's a difference too with, you can be slow and steady and forcing it yes. and hating it mm. and being Grinding. met with blocks. <laughs> or you can be slow and steady, like I was with Pass Around the Smile, but taking inspired action. Like, yeah. I still worked really hard, but it always felt backed with inspiration. Yeah. Yeah. Putting down foundations. Because, like, it was hard work, but yeah. it felt right. Yeah. It felt good. Yeah. Mm. There was always space. It feels yeah. like when you talk about it, it always feels like there's lots of space around you. Yeah. You know, lots yeah. of um, room. What inspired action yeah. is pretty much now, That's is it? Yeah. <laughs> God, this is so, yeah. this is so powerful because, you know, I mean, I work with young girls and yeah. in grade six, and it's like... Um, 
you know, there's a lot of comparison going on. Oh, and I'm like, yeah. as soon as you compare yourself with somebody else, you're actually handing over your power yes. to someone else. You're and so that's right. why you feel less mm. straight away, yeah. you know. We're all amazing beings. Yeah. We all have amazing gifts. We're all so unique. Mm. Let's inspire each other, you know. Yeah. Mm. And another quote that I really love is, um, what someone else thinks of you is none of your business. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, it's so powerful. It's so you know, powerful. Because we walk yeah. around trying to impress or do, do the right like thing me? or do they like mm. me or, or say this. Seeking validation. Yes, yeah, seeking yeah. validation and all of that. And at the end of the day, when you become more aware and conscious of who you are, and it is a definite personal um, journey, mm. and, it, and it's all about the inner work, you only have yourself to be responsible for. Yes. You have no control over what anyone else thinks about you yep. or what they do or any of that. So just live it like Cleo has been doing fully yeah. and just go for it. Yeah, and enjoy the process. Enjoy the process. Yeah. So incredible. So I, I want to reflect back on, because when you were saying about identifying your limited, because this mm. limiting mm. beliefs, was that when you started working with your psychologist, or was there like tools that you were leaning into around the, that awareness, like to identify those things? Because now it seems like it's something that you know you you've got that awareness, like oh, yes, this is happening. Yeah. But how did that all start? Um, it actually started when I first started my events. Okay. So my past around the smile events, there was a whole section on limiting beliefs, but I was really passionate about going deeper than the obvious ones. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and what I love to do in my four week courses is I grab people's limiting beliefs, whether they're the obvious ones or the hard to identify ones, mm. and flip them. Mm. Because I really mm. got into this kind of like study around paradigms. So oh. paradigms <laughs> is like, you know, these it's like a program in our mind and the limiting beliefs are formed usually from a young age through repetition or through emotion. And I realized that when I was younger, I put up my hand in class to answer a question and one of the boys said, you can't answer that, you're not oh, smart. Oh, yeah, so hearing that. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 and yeah. it was said to me once, but it was hit with me through emotion. Yeah. So I then kept that limiting belief and it sat so deep in my subconscious that it became a part of me, yeah. so it's really hard to identify. But then what I did is I create a statement that contradicts that. So I am smart enough, I am capable, and we go way deeper into it. Yeah. Cool. But yeah. I think that's really powerful. Yeah. But also knowing that like a common one with repetition is that if you grow up in a family that, you know, is constantly said to you, money doesn't grow on trees. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Money's hard to come by. You gotta work hard. Yep. Money's evil. Yep. You know? <laughs> Through repetition, Let this paradigm is going to change you in the wrong way. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you become greedy. Law of so, attraction, that's where it comes into play too. Exactly. That, and that's a subconscious mm. law of attraction. Yes. And, and you don't even know you're doing it. Exactly yeah. right. And that's like, say if I have, say if I grew up in that way, right? And I had a limiting belief that money was hard to come by. But if I was actively using the law of attraction to manifest money, so I was like, you know, doing the visualization, I was feeling the feelings, I was journaling it, I was acting as if I already had the money, I'm not going to get it. It's if my sub it? Yes. Yeah. If my subconscious Amazing. is saying that I can't hold on to money, yeah. the it's still energy. contradicting energy. Yes. Yeah. It's still energy working in, um, against each other. Yeah. So one's going this way and one's going that way. So it's yes. like we're coming back to that. Limiting belief. Exactly. Always. Always. It's, it's the deepest. It's, yeah. you got to undo them first before you start manifesting. Well, this is so beautiful because this I've just been um, not not studying. I don't like to use that word. Absorbing. I don't even know. Just studying. <laughs> <laughs> Absorbing. Um, Bruce Lipton talks about this. I love Bruce Lipton. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I've been doing this thing where, because um, the question was, how do you get rid of these limiting beliefs? And he said the, the only way that he knows, there's yeah. probably many ways, is this when your brain state is in the theta state, which yes. is the first 30 minutes when you go to sleep at night and the first 30 minutes when you wake up. Yeah. So to be able to listen to some self-hypnosis affirmations yep. to, ch to change that limiting belief. Yes. Um, because it goes very deep into the, the deep recesses of the brain, the subconscious, and changes that belief. But you have yeah. to do it. It's a bit like a muscle. You have to do it over and over to well, yeah. strengthen it. So Through the same way it was formed. Absolutely. Through emotion and repetition. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, that, he's so great. He's great, yeah. Oh. So that's really interesting that this yeah. topic's come up because um, the subconscious mind is so powerful, as we all know. Yeah. And can sit there so quietly 
Yeah. Um, so far, I'm assuming, yeah. you know, blah, blah, blah. And trying to protect us. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, a lot of times, our limiting beliefs are just protecting us from failure yeah. or judgment. But it's like, then we just sit stagnant. And, and the money thing's the biggest thing. Yeah. Like, because yeah. most Australians we've grown up with, you have to work hard to make a living. We even see it in ads, you know, yes. beer ads, smoking yeah. ads, solo ads. So true. Like, it's yeah. being subliminally told us through every avenue. Yeah. And so all of a sudden we're like, yeah, my parents are right. You know, yeah. this and this. And then it becomes this very deep yeah. condition that we see. With. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. And there's a big difference between, to what you're describing, like between the heart and the mind. Like the mind is holding on to this conditioning belief. Mm. And the heart is just trying to, oh. like, survive through that, isn't it? Like yeah. you can, and it's it's going, but I, I know I can feel. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 Oh, but the mind's going, no, no. Yes. Like, <laughs> I just did a podcast that was called The Heart Knows Things That Your Mind Can't Explain. Oh, and that's so true. That's like, beautiful. Yeah. Like, Is that one of yours? Yeah, that's Have my latest episode. Have you ever to that on yeah. 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 the Twitter website? The Heart um, Knows. Yeah, or Pass Around mm-hmm. the Smile just on Spotify. Or oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's beautiful. I actually just got number one on the Apple Podcast for Spirituality. Excellent. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> That is so It's a cool. sign. It's a sign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're doing something amazing. Yeah, people, yeah. Are listening. people are listening. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It feels right. It yeah. Feels right. I, though, again, I wish I could say I did the podcast when I first wanted to, but I didn't. It took me years to get the confidence up and to squash the limiting beliefs before I did it. It's time is it's, everything, I, you know, uh, I feel I, like. You I know, agree. Mm, and, you know, the funny thing is, that. Yeah. it's so subtle. Mm. When there's a major shift, the universe doesn't necessarily go, bang, Here's a whale. You yeah. know, sometimes exactly. the biggest things can be the most subtle things, and you have to actually be in this very still yeah. um, space yeah. to get it. It's You're like, exactly right. I'm going to give you this big thing yeah. that's going to change your life, but you have to be in a place of Brilliant. stillness, awareness, awareness, yeah. ready to receive, ready to receive, yeah. to hear it. Yeah. No, you just said that so well, and it's mm. so true, and it's exciting, yeah. isn't it? Because we can all be in that state. Yeah. But we're trying. Control. Yeah. yeah, and there's more joy when you, in, you know, hindsight's such a beautiful thing because there's more joy when you realise that you're like, oh yeah, because I, you know, I, what keeps coming for me, not as big, but um, I separated from my husband, which we're back together now, a long, long time ago. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> a long, long time ago, and yeah. I had to change my whole life. Yeah. And yeah. one of those things was I had to get a full time job because I had two young kids. Right. And um, I went for this one job and I really didn't want it. Mm. And so I actually threw the lady's number in the bin. (laughs) Anyway, she rang me back. And for some reason, this is all the little things now that you you look back and you go, wow. Um, The the message cut out and all it said was such and such from this store. Um, Really loved your interview. Can you call me back on? I've over for it and it lost the last bit. And I'm like, oh "Oh, no, you know, (laughs) and I really needed this job. So I ended up going through the rubbish bin to find her number and I found it. So all the little things, you know, that you The little things add up. Rang her and she said, look, I know you don't have experience as a manager, but I'd love you to offer you the manager's role. And I'm like, oh, okay. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) So I got this job and I worked this role for 10 years and I loved it. See, if it's meant to be, it won't miss you. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And it was exactly what you were saying. I didn't really want that role. I wanted something more glitzy and glamorous and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But this role was absolutely perfect and where I needed to be yeah that's so nice yes yeah. and it changed my whole life so it was like yay because i guess the ego part of you would have wanted the glitz and the glamour and it's the same as me the yes. ego part of me wanted the big blockbuster film yeah it's not actually what my heart wanted yeah no way exactly so it's interesting isn't it it's, it's always so, so subtle really and you have to work a little bit hard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i love these topics yeah. <laughs> i'm really so excited <laughs> well it's the universe at play and i think that's the part that ignites us yes. you know that we love knowing that there's something bigger outside of us yes yeah and like the law of attraction like i said before sometimes it can seem too good to be true but it's just another law Mm. like the law of gravity is a law yeah we have no choice but to believe that it's real because we can like see it happening when we drop something Mm -hmm. it drops to the floor the law of attraction is just that strong and just that viable, but it's made up of energy. So mm. sometimes we perceive that it's not real or yeah. it's too good to be true. Mm. But like the science that backs the law of attraction is incredible. Absolutely. So 
the more we know about it, and it's always working, that's the thing. Mm-hmm. Like, and we know, like, you know, if you wake up in a bad mood and yeah. you stub your toe and then yeah. you turn your toes, it's like, that's yes. the law of attraction working, but in the way that you don't want it to. Because it can work in the negative. Exactly. This is the other yeah. part that people yeah. need to know too, is that, you know, be careful what you ask for. Exactly. Because you'll get exactly what you ask. And the universe doesn't yeah. care. No. If you're asking for something bad or yeah. whatever, it'll give you what you need. Well, you don't always need. think you're asking for something no. bad. You don't realise what strings come are attached exactly. to that kind of thing. You know, like, imagine... You know, if you'd been swallowed up by Hollywood, yeah, you know, where would you be? You exactly. Know? Yeah, it was so not. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually get this question a lot through Pass Around the Smile, which is like, "Oh, I'm so afraid I'm going to manifest something bad." And what I do say to oh. that is that it can be scary, but you've got to think of the work that it takes to manifest something good as well. Yeah. You still have to take inspired action toward getting that thing. So it's like. Are you really taking inspired action to this bad thing that maybe popped into your mind? Probably not. Yeah. Yes. So I just say yeah. that to like eliminate a bit of fear because yeah. you don't want to think like, oh, you know, our minds can go crazy. Oh, I've just thought about this car crash. You're not going to go and have a car crash. Yeah. Like it doesn't work like that. Yeah. But um, yeah. And yeah. I think sometimes like those things come into our mind again because it's another form of the self-limiting belief, isn't it? Like, yes. If I ask for this thing, I'm going to have a car crash. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, yeah. isn't that? crazy how we do that to ourselves isn't it we're going to mm. ask for something but then something's going to be taken away mm. or you know we you know um we're going to lose something going to yeah. lose something yeah yeah um and you know i think too that sometimes there's an element that you know that we all carry as being sort of different timelines and past lives and things around the whole medicine woman um village healer um white witch black witch the, the energy of working with mm. these energies mm. and frequencies is there's been so many um, uh, disempowering experiences or life-taking experiences that yeah. we all carry little shadows around. But yeah. what if I am successful in making my dreams come true? What if yes. I am powerful in being who I am here to be? Oh, you yeah. Know, what if so nice. It's yeah. kind of like... Well, Nelson Mandela did a beautiful speech about that, didn't he? What, yeah. if, what, if I'm, what if my light is brighter or something else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. That is so true. And mm. so many of us, we do fear success. Yeah. Yes. And for so long, mm. I didn't realize I was fearing success because the success that I wanted was different. was different. It yes. wasn't what I wanted. Yeah. But like at the time, I was so sure it was. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, we do fear success and that's normal. But it's all about identifying it, journaling. Yeah. yeah. Like B, it's okay. You yeah. know. Not being hard on yourself. Mm. I've got tattoos yeah. all over myself. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> and spread them up. Just to remind oh. myself, but I got them on the wrong side. That's for everybody else, not me. I'm like, oh. <laughs> maybe it's because people need to read it. No, but really? they say, most people say, what is that on your arm? And I go, oh, it's like the old trust. Thanks for the sign. Thanks for asking. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I made mean, that today. <laughs> so bizarre. Um, uh, this is so beautiful. Yeah. So let's, um, wow, 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 we've done that one. I'm going to go to this. So what do you now do to support yourself with staying in the moment? And on that question too, I just want to add a little bit. Yeah. Because I know you mentioned before about you were confused about what was your heart saying and then what was your head saying. How do you know now that answer? Is the it fear. It was the heart and the fear. Yeah. Yes. yes. Um, still yeah. struggle. Yeah. Because it's hard. It is hard. And yeah. I guess depending on the situation. Yeah. Um, but... I will always meditate on it, yeah. journal, and then do a card. Okay. Pull, and I'll do it in that order. Oh, that, yeah. And then I will journal the cards I pull with a date. Yes. So I can look back at how they always align. Yes. Like, they always tell you what you need to know. Um, and I think to become present, I do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, and limit time on my phone. Yeah. <sighs> It's hard. Big oh, oh, Hallelujah. Oh, Thank oh, you for yeah, sharing that. One, yeah. Yeah, because um, that is a big yeah. one, isn't it? Especially because, like, part of what you do is um, a media aspect to it, mm, like socials yeah. and things like that. Um, it is hard to, yep. you know, create healthy boundaries around that and not get pulled into, especially when you take time to reply to people or yes. be interrupted and things like that. And mm. I think with Pass Around a Smile, because I do hold these courses where people will ask me very personal questions yeah. and I will help them, they then, you know, contact me. I've got to remind them that I'm not a psychologist <laughs> yeah. as well. Yeah. And, you know, so, yeah. and I do a lot of that because yeah. I do believe, like, I'm not the one to help 
yeah. when it gets to a certain stage. Like, I can help you with some surface level limiting beliefs yes. and some manifestation, but Inspired I get action. some pretty, mm. pretty intense messages. And yeah, I'm always the first to refer them to the yeah. psychologist. Um, but yeah, like going on my phone is work. Yeah. So it's really hard because if I want to like respond to say a text for my best friend at 8 p.m. at night, I'll open my phone and then oh, I may as well just yes. check Instagram while I'm here. Oh, I may as well reply to these DMs about work. Oh, well, this shop wants to stock my stuff. Yes. If I don't reply straight away, they might not stock it. So then I'm replying to that. Like how's the trap midnight yeah. comes around? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. I have I have struggled. Yeah. Well, we, we actually talk about this a lot too, mm. the distractions that are around at the moment yeah. because there seems to be two worlds. Yes. You know, there's this world of the glitz and glam and there's Instagram and how you look and how people look on it and what they're doing and you know there's what you're missing out on the photo yeah. and all of that kind of stuff, which is all a distraction to yep. stop you from going within and finding the joy yes. and all of that within. Exactly right. Because you'll never find it externally and we so often seek it externally yeah. right like answers and guidance from other people or like psychics or whoever and that's all good and yeah. fine yeah. but it's fine if you're not in a vulnerable state yeah like yeah. if you know kind of who you are and what you want then yeah go and see a psychic yeah um, to a spiritual healer but i feel like in my most vulnerable I was constantly seeking answers from, yeah, you know, outside. external sources, mm -hmm. but the answer was always inside mm -hmm. of me. Mm -hmm. I just had to quiet my mind and listen because it was always there. Yeah. And I feel like that can be so, it can be exciting and frustrating at the same time to yeah. hear because there'll probably mm -hmm. be your listeners going like, no, I actually don't know what I want to do. I don't know what makes me happy. The answer isn't inside of me. I've tried. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And that's it's exciting be because you don't, yeah, yeah. Like you can do the work now and you can find it out. Like you don't have to wait for someone else to tell you. Absolutely. Yeah. And it comes down to that thing of like loving yourself enough and trusting yourself. Mm. And asking. And asking. Yes. Us, yeah. And, all, and just like not expecting the mm. miracle overnight. Yeah. Just if it's one step. Yes. Yeah. And it might be a conversation that you have with someone or it might be That's a the colour of the yeah, t-shirt yeah. you put on that actually makes you feel different to the black one or the green one or the, mm. you, know, yes. that, you know, um, it's fun. I'm trying to no. time experimenting with my wardrobe to change the way I feel. And it's yes. quite funny the different day you have or the days you put oh, the t-shirt on inside absolutely. out accidentally and then you laugh at yourself at the end of the day. <laughs> like, oh, uh, okay, that says yes. a lot. <laughs> we all need to the chakras, I reckon, like the colours you wear. Yes. And like yeah. when I'm doing readings for people, yeah. when I'm doing readings for people, I see colours of the chakras oh, and it's always like in alignment with what they need to hear and stuff. But it's true. I've heard, um, actually, one of my friends, Laura, she'll wear the colours of the chakra that she is oh, like yeah. struggling with at that moment. Fantastic. She said it will always help her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And again, it's like mm, just your environment, good. changing your environment, even in those subtle ways, yeah. can be extremely powerful yeah, because, yeah. yeah. Celebrating mm. every small shift. Yeah. Mm. Like, as well as, like, it doesn't have to, you don't have to wait to celebrate big shifts because if you're celebrating all the small things, mm -hmm. you're, like, more grateful. And then yeah. when you're more grateful, you make room for more of what you want to yeah. materialise. Yeah. 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 Because this so is the thing, talking. like, sometimes when, you know, people are talking, like, in this, this, these environments, like when we're sharing around people's awakenings and journeys, people's stories, uh, it's a condensed moment of a lot of moments. And like, so when you were 11, to then when you were 15, and then finishing year 12, to now, how old are you, Cleo? 29. 29, see, oh, magic, you know, this. it's a journey, you know, it's so beautiful. beautiful, but then how, how wise. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Cleo. Yes. Oh, so, <laughs> oh, it's a little piece. It's so beautiful. Well, I guess it's that's so where your cards and your journals are so you're sharing pieces of oh, you with everyone yeah, yeah. in that way, aren't you? you oh, know? it does. Like, I just love my products. Like, yeah. so much magic and mm. so much good energy went into creating them. Yeah. And it was just such a beautiful process, which I think is why I do believe there's proper magic in the cards. Like, yeah. the messages I get of people being like, what have you done? Like the same card keeps coming out. I'm like, yep, the same card will keep coming out until you. Yeah, yes. 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 yes, it's yes. crazy. But yeah, I'm obsessed with them. Well, this is this is the funny Beautiful. thing too, which I talked about with a friend this morning um, around purpose. You know, mm. because that seems to be a big word. You yes. know, and it can be a big buzzword, but it can also be a very deep word. Mm. And you know, a lot of people it's ask this question. For. Yeah, it's mm. what we're all here for. And you know, a lot of people struggle with it. Yeah. And I did hear 
someone talk about this the other day and it was around people coming and having sessions with them and the biggest question was, you know, I just want to know what my purpose is. Mm -hmm. And they said that as long as we're planting a seed for people to evolve, then you're set. That's your purpose. That's yeah. nice. And I was like, oh, that's so nice because there's so many of us yeah. that are just wanting to share something that we've learnt yeah. through our own journey, yeah. um, which has helped us yeah. make us a better human, mm. that we then on go and share that with others, which is exactly what you're doing. And when you say there's magic in your cards, there most mm. certainly is mm. because you've experienced it, you've walked it, and now you're sharing it. And you're planting a seed with somebody else. Mm. Yeah. So you're so your intention, your purpose, your intention yeah. is is there. Of a high, rate, high, rate, high vibration. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Love a high vibration. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Gabby Bernstein's, Bernstein says something similar, uh, where she said, "As long as what you're asking for is for the highest good for mm -hmm. all." Mm. And it's so true. Mm -hmm. And like, it doesn't mean that you have to go and start a charity. No. It just means like, what is it that you want? Okay. Do you want to become a teacher? Okay. Well, you are. Oh, yeah, help children. Yeah, and even if it is something that can seem materialistic, mm -hmm. I talk about this on my money mindset episode because some people are scared to like say if they want a handbag, for example. Yeah, you're still allowed to manifest a handbag. Absolutely, but maybe think of it in a way that you know what when I get that handbag, my kids are going to see that hard work pays off. Yeah, yes. and they're going to see mum really proud. Yes. And just so happy wearing a handbag and confident and you yes, know. Yes, yes. So think of it in another way. You can attract and ask for anything that you want. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter if it seems materialistic, but is there a reason behind it? Mm -hmm. Like if you want money, do you want money to take your family on a holiday that you're all gonna remember forever? Then mm -hmm. great. Yes. That's amazing. Yes. You know? Yeah. Or do yeah. I just want money highest control. Control. <laughs> I just want money in my bag. Exactly. You know? Yeah. 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 Have a have around. a reasoning yeah. behind it. It will make it easier for you to manifest it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, yeah, actually, you know, this beautiful person brought, came on um, and her, her um, mantra for a couple of years to shift her life. Oh, yeah. Her mindset was to say yes to, to everything. Oh, brought to the Yes. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, she's, she's got such a beautiful, positive attitude. Yeah, yeah. But with, you she's know, pregnant. Yeah, she's she's pregnant. Yeah, she is pregnant. Yeah, she's pregnant. Yeah, she's pregnant. Yeah, she's pregnant. Yeah, she's pregnant. But it's that thing around, you know, her, her intentions are around what, she wanted saying yes to bring. Yeah. And and it just kept creating an energy for her. It was because exciting, wasn't it? When it was she was exciting. sharing it, yeah. I could feel it. it was That's like, so yeah. cool. Hearing yeah. your journey, it's like you, you, you ride along with them and you can yeah. feel the excitement yes. that she was having. And, yeah. and the same with you, it's like, yeah. And that's what it's all about. It's that yeah. space that you hold, which we can feel. It's like the container. Yes. You know, that we can feel that excitement and it inspires us oh. and inspires our listeners yeah. and, you know, it spreads. And that's mm. purpose. Yeah. Mm. That's the gift of of essence and the gift of purpose. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, it's really interesting. Oh, so our lucky last question. Oh. It's gone so quickly. Wow, <laughs> how beautiful. Um, how does Cleo see the world now and what do you see next for you? Oh <laughs> <laughs> deep question. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I think I see the world. Um with just infinite possibilities mm. and like there is just so much that we can't see yeah and oh, that's so true. yeah i just really try to sit in that trust of i see one way but like for example i am trying to manifest a house with pool yeah for luke and i but my mind is saying you know well you're not gonna have enough money or you're not yeah. you know it can't yeah. happen in that amount of time but yes, it can. Yeah. The universe will sort it out if it's meant to be. Yeah. So just, I think that's how I see the world is really exciting because mm -hmm. there are so many possibilities that we can't yet see. Mm -hmm. And I love looking back and seeing how everything worked out yeah. and kind of made sense. Mm -hmm. um, and then up next, is that, was that yep. what you said? Yeah. Up next, um, uh, I guess just continuing doing what I'm doing really. Yeah. And I'm about to bring my four-week guide to happiness course back. Oh, oh beautiful! Yeah, I'm we'll pop all the links. Oh, great! Too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. yeah. I'm actually co-hosting my first retreat as well. Ooh, Yay! So, yeah, in Sunshine Coast. Um, oh, that, that would be fun! Yeah. If any listeners are, you know, want a bit of Chloe vibe, Cleo vibe, sorry, jump on in. That will be yeah, amazing. Yeah, I think it'll be really. I'm really excited about it because, like, for example, we did an event the other week, which was so beautiful, and I did it with three other women, yeah. and I loved it, but we only had 20 minutes each, oh. and when you're talking about these 
Big things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. so yeah. enough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just literally just warming up, not even. Yeah. yeah. So three day retreat. I'm so excited yeah. to actually help people make changes. Yeah. And that's what I love. Like when I do my workshops, I'm like, oh, yeah, yes. see, we did it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So yes. powerful. Yeah. So three day retreat coming up. And then your so the four week guide. Do you do that online? The four week so, guide. Is it in, yeah, yeah, it's online, and I used to do it as interactive, like live. Yeah. But I'm actually gonna pop it up so people can do it whenever. Oh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. 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 that was a big thing. Like, oh, I can't make it. Yeah, anymore. yeah. So I'm gonna pop it up. It will still be like a month or so away, but I really, I'm really proud of that course. Mm. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of work goes into yeah. uh, um, workshops. Yeah, yeah. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah and totally. the content that you want to share with everybody. And, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Get it all together, and yeah, it's a, it's definitely a uh, I'll say a labour of love, but it's not a really a labour when you love what you're doing. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. <laughs> we should put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> Oh, I want to put like I saw the guy wearing a t-shirt. Speaking of t-shirts, you know, uh, wearing a t-shirt one day. Um, I had a big sunshine face on it and oh. said washing my face in sunshine oh. and I was like that's my vitamin cleanser yes. I want that t-shirt for oh. my you know we're just yes. like that's what I that feels like for me yeah. and t-shirts just jump out at you sometimes isn't yeah. it and I can just see have you got t-shirts yet is that oh no I have yeah, yeah, yeah excellent. excellent they're yeah. actually oh I think I have one design still left the other sold out I did like a 90 with a big moon on it and oh, that cool. sold out pretty quickly but then yeah. I had a good vibrations t-shirt <laughs> and, a sun, and then I've got a 70s sun t-shirt as well. Yeah. 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 I actually saw one the other day that was on the back and it said oh, forever who's forever for anyone that's reading this you are loved oh, you are appreciated yes. or something like that and it was just like oh that's, that's so lovely because you do read yeah. yeah, what's on the back of your Totally. <laughs> totally. So I might yeah. not see your face, but I, I can feel you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and imagine what the vibes day. that person would have got to that's wearing mm. that T-shirt. Because mm. everybody yeah. would have been like, oh, thank you. That's so sweet. And that energy is yeah. like going to them. Do yeah. you know those machines that can actually photograph energy leaving the body? Wow. Oh, the, wow. Aura, the aura ones? They have the crystal castle? Is it those ones? I think those. And then I yeah. think there's like even like the scientists, because it was like in some study I read. And I was just like, oh my God, like it goes to show the energy that we're giving out and the energy that we receive. It's real. It's real. It's funnily enough, over the weekend I was um, just looking for a little moment of diversion. So I put on YouTube and... I don't know why, but the Sound of Sing Prophecy popped out of the film. Oh, great and I, movie. I love great that book. I've never yeah. seen the movie. And yeah. it's really, you can see it was a low budget, but the intention it's is huge. Yeah, it's like yeah. It just really was a great visit into that mm-hmm. whole process of energy exchange yeah. and the law of attraction oh, yeah. and where you put your focus and holding space and yeah. listening, looking for the signs, everything yeah. we've been talking about today. It was just a beautiful moment to sit in and just... We can really, yeah. you know, I'm just thinking too that, you know, we can really simplify our life too by yes, just following these simple everyday. So Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. not make it complicated. Yes. It's just like, you know, it's ask and trust yeah. and then wait. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Jim Carrey has this quote. He said, as far as I can tell, it's about asking for what you want while wor- uh, working toward it while letting go of how it comes to pass. Yeah. I oh, like yes. it. He has some incredible law of attraction stories. Yes, he's big on that, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Like he wrote himself a check for $10 million when he was homeless and wrote on the check for acting services rendered. Oh. And then he made $10 million on Dumb and Dumber. Oh, no oh my God. Isn't that and what a fabulous movie that is. It's just so funny. It, it just lifts you yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking of the face. You know, the <laughs> thing, and oh, it's oh, it's so funny. stuck to the ice pole. Yeah. <laughs> the hot chili. Um, Alrighty. And you have meditations beautiful. as well. We haven't touched on that. I do. Yeah, I do. which I yeah. thought was beautiful. Yeah, I have yeah. I have meditations and I have two on my podcast that people can listen to for free and then just see. Because, you know, sometimes you resonate with people's voices, yeah. sometimes you don't. Absolutely. Yeah, and yeah, then like, I've got the rest on my uh, passaroundthesmile.com, which people can download. And that's where like, my cards and my journals and my crystals. And yeah. yeah. Everything. Oh, perfect. perfect. <laughs> that's a Love great it. way to round it off. Yes. Um, we will put all of... Cleo's info mm. on the bottom of the podcast. 
Um, thank you so much, honey, for coming in. You seriously have the best yeah, you, vibe yeah, about yeah. you. Thank it was you. really, 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 really beautiful. You've inspired me. That's oh, for sure. so much. Thank, thank you yeah. so much for yeah. having me. That was a really fun chat. I feel yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Same. Thank you, Thank you. Oh, that was so fun. Yeah. Oh, that was yeah. Yeah. amazing. It was so You couldn't beautiful. get a better name for what you do, really. Oh, yes. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You guys are so good at what you do, too. Like, just the questions <laughs> you just and the way that you chat. Because, like, it's hard. It's yeah. a skill. Yeah. Like, it's... you guys are so great. Thank I think you. because we're just... It's, I think... <laughs> this podcast today is almost like a, the epitome of what we yeah. want to do. We just yeah. want to create a space for women to come and to share their essence yeah. Yeah. and who they are. So and we nice. get so much from that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And, oh, I've got to say, I'm so sorry, because I think Shireen said you guys reached out. and I'm. Oh, uh, well, literally, I... Because uh, I didn't have your number or anything, and I thought I should only get Shireen to... And I thought, I'll just drop a message on your Insta. Oh, sorry. And I hate doing that, because people get so many messages that you never know if they yeah. actually ever see them. Yeah. And sometimes it goes to the, you know, the you know not, not seen yeah. ones or whatever. Mm. So I just, yeah. But then, so then I said to, she said she caught up with Anne. Yeah. And I said, oh, you know, we reached out to Cleo, but I don't know if she'd seen it. And she said, oh, yeah, yeah, no. yeah no. And then the email. So that was perfect. Yeah. The email no, was always better. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Was I'm, fine. yeah, so thankful. That yeah. was really fun. Yeah. I'm yeah. excited to listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> so are we. Yeah. Yeah. I love listening back again. Oh, Have absolutely. Um, so this will go out tomorrow. Oh, 